Look at my beautiful tree. So if you've seen any of my other videos, that gives you a sense of how long it's been since I've made one. Because my last video was uh, Labor Day. <laughs> so over three months, although I said I would be making more videos, looky here, looky here, and it's Christmas. Well, almost Christmas. It's December 19th. Um, currently, so let me pause so I can flip the thing around. Okay. Hi YouTube. All right, I'm trying to get this set up. Um, I know if you watch me, you're probably like, this girl is so inconsistent, which is 100% correct. Just loosening up my headband. Um, I am inconsistent, um, and I know that about myself. I know that I'm inconsistent, so you're not going to be telling me anything that I don't already know about myself. Um, but I did want to come in and uh, say hello and sort of give a bit of an update. It is December 19th. Look, there's Tank giving kisses. Um, it's December 19th. Um, I'm home, me and the dog. And um, kind of just sitting and contemplating and... Thinking back over this year, over the last few months, um, and it's it's a weird emotion. I can't even really um, fully describe sort of how I feel um, based on sort of what's been going on. Um, so I I need to take my boots off. Hold on. Mm -mm. Okay, so um, I am kind of going to use this time to um, be kind of transparent and honest sort of about what is kind of going on um, in my life. And as you can see, I am spinning this thing all over the place. <laughs> there we go. Um, just as a... Sort of caveat to all of this. Um, no one's life is perfect. My life is not perfect. Um, and especially in this moment, my life is not perfect. Um, and I recognize that YouTube is a public forum. Um, and that whatever I share there will then become, I guess, fair game, you could say. Um, but I think that my sharing and being open and honest um, is going to be sort of therapeutic for me because honestly, at this moment in my life, um, the people that I love the most who have been sort of helping me as I go through this time um, don't live close enough to me. The nearest person is my best friend who's two hours away. My mom is really far. My, my grandmothers are in Queens, which you know, when I say that, because I live in Brooklyn, you probably think like that's not that far. Um, and for someone who works full time and doesn't have a car, um, it's a lot harder than I think ever thought it could be. Because by the time the weekend gets here, I literally just want to rest um, because I'm physically tired and I'm also emotionally very, very sort of tired. Um, so, in terms of what is going on, um, currently my husband is not living at home um, and he has not been for quite a few months now because he is dealing with his own personal issues um, that we're having and are still having a serious impact on our marriage. Um, and a serious impact on me personally in a way that did not, in a way that didn't make it conducive to my health and well being um, to have him here. Um, so he is staying with his parents, and I am in the apartment, which is a whole nother struggle in and of itself. I mean, I'm grateful and I thank God 
that um, I have a full-time job and I have the ability to work and, and that I can pay all my bills, even if it means I don't have any <laughs> spending money. Um, but, you know, I'm okay. I'm treading water and I'm grateful for the fact that I am able to do that because I know that there are plenty of people who are in much worse shape than I am. Um, but these past few months have really been difficult. Um sort of thinking that there's a possibility that my marriage could end um, is a really, really difficult thing to to um, to think about and to sort of weigh on you um, and to sort of watch someone that you love act in a manner that doesn't demonstrate that they love themselves. Um, is also really difficult to watch. And so these past few months, I've kind of just been trying to like figure things out. Um, I've learned a lot about myself in these few months in terms of what I'm able to handle and what my limits are. And I've learned just how strong I can be if I need to be. Um, doesn't mean I want to have to be this strong all the time because it's not easy. But I know that I can do it. Um, I'm also recognizing that life is short. And life is meant to be enjoyed. And that sometimes in life we have to make choices that we may not, may not have foreseen. Like they weren't what we planned them to be. Um, like at this moment in my life right now, I would have never thought that this is... that. The reality that I'm in would be my reality. Um, no, this is not. This is not what I anticipated. This is not what I wanted. This is not what I want currently. Um, and so, learning to be open to the fact that sometimes things don't go the way you want to, and sometimes you have to make changes and choices that, when you're making them, really hurt and are really difficult. But that will ultimately lead you to whatever that place is that you believe you are supposed to be um, at that moment in your life. And so um, that's sort of where I am. Um, it's still a very, very sad situation. And if I think hard enough about it, um, it really, really gets me down. Like it weighs me down in a way that I couldn't imagine having to deal with long term. Um, and I don't know if I've ever felt what a broken heart feels like before, um, but I'm pretty sure that a lot of what I've been feeling over these past months is what a broken heart feels like. honestly really tired of crying about it <laughs> and I wish I could not cry about it anymore but um it's a tough situation and I wouldn't wish this on anybody from my perspective from his perspective I wouldn't wish this on anyone because it's not fun and, um, yeah. But, <clears throat> thankfully, some things in life are constant. Um, and those things that are constant are the things that, that, um, keep you going, you know? So, because I work with kids, you know, you have to, you have to show up and you have to be enthusiastic and you... You know, I, I want to inspire them, so I have to be uplifting and and supportive. And having to do that for them really does help me. Um, even on those days when I feel like I can't do it. Um, it's not an option. Can't is not an option because, you know, it's part of what I... It's part of my job. Um, 
And so that really helps. And the work I do with the church also really helps. Um, there's something about younger people that's just, you know, it, it is their youth and their exuberance. And, you know, teenagers have their bad days too <laughs> because I've seen them and some I might have caused some. Um, but, um, you know, they have so much to look forward to. And I just really appreciate the opportunity to be able to give them those tidbits of knowledge, the things that I've learned between, you know, being a kid and now at 29, being able to share those things with them so that maybe they don't have to go through, you know, the heartache or, or the student loans or, you know, just like just little bits of knowledge that I've learned that I hope that they are getting from me um, and that I hope will benefit them in the long run. Um, so, yeah, I'm grateful for that. Um, I'm grateful for my family. It took me a really long time to sort of let them in on what was going on. Um, but since I have, uh, they've really been really supportive and they've been um, very helpful to me. Um, because, and even still, sometimes now, I feel um, like I don't have anyone to talk to about it. And it's mostly because I don't want to burden other people with my, with my stuff. Um, because everybody's got stuff. <laughs> You know, um, but when I do need to just hear my mom's voice and maybe cry, you know, she's there. Um, and if I do need words of wisdom from my dad, he's there. My sisters and, and my best friend, like this past year has been one of the best years of our friendship because we made a vow to one another to, to do better in terms of seeing one another and communicating and, you know, like really, really putting the effort in that goes with maintaining a, a lifelong friendship. And I've really seen the fruits of that. And I'm so, so grateful. Um, so as the year comes to a close, um, I am going to issue an ultimatum to my husband. And if he does not do what I think is necessary to save our marriage, um, then that's going to signal to me that we don't need to be married any longer. And I will then take the steps I need to um, from there. And once again, it's one of those things that like, I've realized, and I just pray for a lot of things, for the strength to follow through if I have to, the strength to actually make that decision if I have to, the strength for him to do what he needs to do to hopefully avoid that from happening. Um, because, you know, just because you go through problems with someone doesn't mean you don't love them. I love him with all my heart. Um, but I love myself too. And I value my life and I can't pause my life for someone who doesn't value his own. Um, and I have paused my life for a few years now, honestly if I'm really honest about what's been going on. Um, and I'm not going to do it anymore, unfortunately. I'd rather the heartbreak of not being able to be with him and the the sting of potentially having to start over than feeling what I feel now for however long I would have to if he's not willing to make certain changes. Um, so... Yeah, this <laughs> vlog was a lot more sad than I wanted it to be, I guess. Um, I really just wanted to come and update and wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, and to once again make that promise to try and be more current. Um, because I think, I think maybe these past few months might have been a little bit easier if I had someone to talk to, even if it was a virtual someone, and even if that virtual someone only ended up being myself, <laughs> um, that that might have really made a difference. And so I'm going to try it out, and I'm going to try to be consistent, um, and I'm going to try to sort of keep people informed. Um, yeah. So in other news, I've done zero Christmas shopping. And Christmas is the Friday coming. 
So I have to go either to the Atlantic Terminal Mall tomorrow or King's Plaza Mall tomorrow to at least get a few gifts, like from my bosses, my grandmothers, my aunt, like the people I'll actually see. I need to like get them something. Um, so I'm gonna do that, and uh, that's it. That's it. So in case I don't get back before Christmas, have a Merry Christmas. Um, I will definitely be back before the new year, though, that I know. So if you feel so inclined, you may comment, you may rate, and I do ask that you subscribe. <laughs> Take care.